I don't know you, well, if, no matter whether or not I know you, my name is <laughs> Dr. Melanie Korn, um, and I'm the president here at Columbus College of Art and Design. Welcome uh, to our beautiful space up here on the second floor, um, and thank you so much for coming out on this cold evening to help us celebrate and kick off our 140th year. Um, over the last few months, as we've been discussing um, the year, uh, uh, discussing our 140th, I've had an opportunity to talk to a lot of folks about it. Uh, and when I say that CCAD is turning 140 in 2019, um, it doesn't really matter who they are, uh, everyone is shocked. Um, and, um, and on the one hand, it's a great opportunity to tell them about CCAD. On the other hand, it's a little sad that they don't realize how long we've been here. Um, I know that it becomes a bit of a cliche um, to talk about how um, your institution, whatever it is, you know, is uh, the best kept secret in town. Um, you know, we're a regional gem. You know, all those uh, cliches. So I don't want to bore you with those cliches, but I will say that at this uh, moment of our 140th year, it is the perfect opportunity to make sure that by 150. Um, that is not something that anyone is going to say. Um, that we are well known around the world um, and celebrated for the tremendous impact that we have had and will continue to have on the CCD um, community and the Columbus community and uh, the world. Um, so again, we first opened for classes in January of 1879. Um, and over the last 140 years, Columbus College of Art and Design has served the Columbus community through its long-standing continuing education programs and other public art events and exhibitions. But most importantly, we have educated thousands of students who as alumni have gone on to fuel the creative economy and culture here in Columbus and again across our globe. <clears throat> so uh, we like to say that if you've seen something cool in Columbus over the last 140 years, it's probably because of CCAD. <laughs> uh, so tonight we're kicking off the year with an exhibition called Columbus College of Art and Design, 140 Years of Creative Excellence. It looks at archival materials for student exhibitions over the past 140 years and includes student exhibition posters, flyers, catalogs, dating from the late 1800s to the present day. Uh, the show runs for another uh, 10 days or so till January 25th. Um, and our archivist in the, from the, our library, Chloe Key, will talk a bit more about the show in a minute. But first I wanted to tell you about a few of the other events that we have planned to celebrate our 140th anniversary. <clears throat> um, our events, of course, are in um, a wonderful publication and on our website, so you can always find more information about these. Um, but in just a couple weeks, on Thursday, February 7th, uh, we're going to have a found footage screening. Uh, with lots of archival and retro footage um, from backstage fashion show prep from the 1980s to classroom footage of instructors from the 90s uh, and a lot of other things and that's going to be in our screening room downstairs. Um, in the spring, our two major events, Chroma, the best of CCAD end of year student exhibition that builds off of um, our 140 years of student exhibitions, as well as our CCAD fashion show will highlight our 140th anniversary. Um, those events happen on Wednesday, May 8th, and for Chroma, and Friday, May 10th, for the fashion show. Um, and finally, in the fall, um, we will have um, a um, an, uh, sort of exhibition, really, that is collaborating with galleries around the city. Um, CCD grads in the galleries celebrating 140 years of creative excellence, where we're partnering with all kinds of galleries in the Columbus region, uh, and they will be highlighting work from CCAD alumni. Uh, and we will be sort of doing some cross promotion and helping to um, build that culture and really, again, make sure we're telling that story about the impact that, that CCAD has on Columbus's creative community. Um, so again, you can pick up um, information about all these events. Uh, and tonight, um, we are sort of doing this like a sort of belated birthday party. Um, we actually first opened classes on January 6th in 1879, but um, most of us were not around uh, January 6th this year or in 1879. Um, so we made it a couple extra days. Uh, classes just started yesterday. Um, so uh, before we dig into our birthday cake uh, and enjoy that, uh, I want to introduce archivist Chloe Key, who curated the work for tonight's exhibition. Thanks, Dr. Korn. Um, we're excited to show off some of our archives collection here tonight. Um, every year, CCAD hosts an annual student exhibition. And tonight, um, we have a collection of the promotional materials of some of the different shows throughout the years. 
here on the wall. Uh, we also have a small collection of objects from the archive in the center, um, including school yearbooks, t-shirts, and photographs. Um, and also the exhibition continues around the corner with some of our oldest materials from the late 1800s, so be sure to check those out. Uh, and uh, feel free to come up to me during tonight and um, ask me about anything about CCAD history or about the objects here. Um, I'd love to chat about, about it. Um, and now I want to turn things over to Fine Arts Chair Team Oh, Tim, <laughs> Tim Rebach, uh, who will talk about a little bit more about our student uh, exhibitions throughout the history of CCAD. My multiple personalities. <laughs> um, the, uh, well, I was asked to just kind of reflect on how the exhibition has changed over the years. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, the person that did it before me was Tam Peterson. She's, if you know Tam, does anybody know Tam? Yeah. Kind of type A. <laughs> um, kind of drove everybody crazy. Um, I'm kind of type Z. So uh, I started to sort of not micromanage at all and let everybody kind of take over their, uh, their efforts. And it's been a really terrific uh, experience uh, working with everybody. Um, but it's evolved from the thing that I did originally to change it from what Tam was doing was to, uh, um, when Tam was doing it, you would go into the gallery and there would be separate locations for every department. And um, I thought that was kind of a static way to experience what the school does. And I started trying to blend all the majors so that you couldn't just go to one location and see what was going on. You'd have to uh, traverse the whole exhibition space. Um, but we've slowly evolved back to that kind of uh, siloing, except for the reason we've done that is to kind of gain even more um, campus-wide campus um, uh, energy. So like every major now has their own kind of location for their exhibitions. Fine arts benefited dramatically from that because um, we now have the entire Bueller Gallery for that exhibition, which is kind of a state-of-the-art uh, space. So our, our graduating seniors get the most amazing opportunity for uh, an ex exhibiting artist. Uh, and uh, so uh, if you look at the last things, the name of it changed. Uh, we used to emphasize, if you look at all this, we used to emphasize the year that we're sort of emphasizing again here. But uh, we sort of started de-emphasizing the annual uh, date, uh, amount of years that it um, um, had been going on, and focused on the title. And so it's changed from the annual exhibition to um, the show, and then from the show to show, and now it's chroma. So, yeah. And you can also really, when you look at the graphic design, you can see that it's gone from very um, complex and, and comp relatively complicated uh, amount of information on this to a very simple and spare kind of presentation. And that's all I really have. But, um, <laughs> thanks for coming out. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. So um, last thing I'll say to split off that. Again, please do come back to Chroma. Um, again, it's Wednesday, May 8th this year, and um, it's a really fantastic opportunity. There, we usually have um, a, a two to 3,000 guests come to campus. Um, work is in many buildings across campus. You get to see really the best work of CCAD students at all levels. It's not just a senior or graduating student exhibition. Um, and it's a great, it's a great party. Um, usually, uh, knock on wood somewhere. Uh, uh, the weather's great, we've got food trucks, uh, you know, we've got a beautiful new street, thanks to the city. Um, so, uh, so please do come back and enjoy the actual work, because again, um, this show is not about the student work, it's about the work uh, of sort of what it means to put on an exhibition, um, and of course the student work that went into the design of, of um, the identities of these shows. Um, so finally, again, um, this has been a lot of fun. Um, to really think about how to celebrate our year um, of 140. And to kick things off, I think, with uh, sort of honoring the student exhibition is a good way, because um, my background is actually art history. Uh, you know, I spent my time in college writing papers that no one ever saw or read or, you know. Uh, but the thing that's so special about art and design education 
um, that I've been immersed in for really my adult life is that the, the exhibition is so public um, and this sort of display of the, of the work of students is really, um, is really central to what we do at an art design college. Um, and so to sort of honor that, to kick off our 140th anniversary, to really think about um, how that will continue to be so central to what we do for the next 140 years, um, I think is a great testament to um, the importance of our design education. So um, thanks again to, for all of you uh, for coming. Um, inside our multi-purpose room, right through that door, there is lots of food. Um, we were going to keep it simple and just have some cake and champagne, but Aramark, our wonderful um, on-campus food service provider, said, no, you can't do that, and donated a wonderful array of appetizers um, so you all didn't you know, starve through the dinner hour. Um, so thank you to Aramark, um, and please do enjoy some cake with us and celebrate our birthday, and uh, we hope to see you again on campus soon. Thanks. A toast to CCAD's first 140 and most importantly to its next 140. Cheers.